So I got an update on the situation. A lot of you have been asking about uh, a previous video I made a few weeks ago regarding Alec Murdaugh and some hot water he found himself in due to a Super Bowl football game uh, bet he made with a very high ranking leader of a gang that I'm not going to specify in SCDC. Now, I showed a little bit of footage uh, recorded of someone talking about the situation of Alec Murdoch with another one of his members. Uh, here's a little bit of that just to jog your memory. I told him. I told him. I said, don't bet on San Francisco. I told him that. In order for playing poker and shit, like he just the motherfucking, like he just got all this motherfucking. Look, but again, it's been some time since then. And if you're new here and you don't know, I've spent 10 years in prison, the same South Carolina prison system as Alec Murdaugh. I'm in touch with a lot of inmates who are still in there that I was in there with. And we talk regularly and they give me updates on Alec Murdaugh and just what's going on with him on the inside. A lot of people are like, oh, if I don't hear it from Fox News or CNN, I don't believe it. Well, I don't know if you think Fox News is going to send a reporter to put on an orange jumpsuit and climb that barbed wire fence and, and infiltrate the cell block to find out if Alec is winning his game of poker in there or not. But if you want the updates on how he's living in prison, I'm probably the best bet you got. So finally got back in touch with my source. Uh, everything, I'm not going to say everything's changed, but things are escalating, you could say, very rapidly since this new development of Alec Murdaugh going to court for his federal charges. Apparently not every inmate knew Alec Murdaugh had all these federal charges that he was going to have to go to court for, and now he's got all this time. He was sentenced to, what, 40 years, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, and, and everyone who he's involved with as far as owing money for this Super Bowl, they're getting very worried that they're not going to get their money. It's already been quite some time. Just think back to when the Super Bowl was. That was like February. So it's already been some time. It's got some tempers flared. But now it's crunch time because there's like sort of a countdown timer going on because he's in state prison serving a state prison sentence. And now he has a federal prison sentence of 40 years. Now, these guys are not sure if he's going to be transported to that federal prison, some federal prison, to serve that 40 years uh, instead of serving his time first in the state corrections department where he's already at with them, where they can be around him and, and, and keep their finger on the pulse of Murdaugh and make sure they get their money. If he gets sent to a federal prison, there's probably not much they can do as far as collecting $5,000. And why Murdaugh even made that bet in the first place, I don't know. If he's got some money hidden out there, I don't know. That's not my field of expertise. You guys probably know better than me. But what I do know is because me and the YouTube channel Phone Calls from Prison have pulled the FOIA request uh, to get his electronic tablet messages that are sanctioned by the prison. And we see lots of women sending him money pretty regularly. So maybe that played a part in feeling like I'm getting 50, 100, 150 here, there, and here. Eventually in a month or two, I can cover 5,000. But he hasn't yet. And so now he might be moved to a federal prison and everybody's all riled up and they're really wanting to put the squeeze on him from what I'm hearing. Now, if you ask me, again, as someone who's been there, I've seen a few examples of guys who have a state prison sentence and guys who have a federal prison sentence at the same time. Usually these guys serve their state prison time first, especially if that's what you got sentenced to first, like Alec Murdoch. And then after that, if you still have some time left to serve in the feds, the feds will be there on your release date. They'll send the marshals uh, to pick you up and take you to federal prison, whichever one you're going to. Now, this may be different for Alec Murdoch, and I'll, I'll, this is why, in my opinion. SCDC, I guarantee you, they do not like having Alec Murdoch in their facility. This isn't fun for them. They don't enjoy this. They don't enjoy this publicity. They don't like any publicity. The last time they had this much publicity, not even this much, but, but something close, was in 2018 when a humongous prison riot, you can Google this, ended up all over the news. This was one of the largest prison riots in the last 25 years in the United States in the year of 2018 when this happened. I believe seven people got killed. This went on for hours. Many more injured. They had to get the outside police in there to get control. It was a huge, huge thing. It changed so many things about SCDC, even down to the color of uniforms they wore. They used to be tan, khaki. 
and then they switched to bright orange so people would be more visible at night on camera. It, it was a whole mess, but they hated it. They did not like that spotlight. They got the spotlight more than ever now with Alec Murdaugh, and I know they don't like it. I know they don't. I've spent a decade there, and anything that gets close to having to be released to the public, they don't enjoy it. So I'm sure they'd be all too glad to get rid of Alec Murdoch. If there's any way of kind of, you know, pushing for him to go ahead and go to the feds, I'm, I'm, they're not holding on to him tight. I guarantee you that if there's any loophole or any anything, any excuse they can find legally or just as far as protocol and procedures to, to say, hey, guys, you know, if you want to come get him to serve as fed time in your federal prison system, we'd love for you to come get him. So, you know, that's what a lot of people are worried about in there because they're in tune with this just like I am. They know this about the director, Brian Sterling of SCDC, just like I do. They know he hates that. They know SCDC doesn't want to deal with Alec Murdoch. And now Alec's got a good reason to get out of that SCDC prison system. And so that means their money going bye-bye. And these guys are no joke. They're dangerous. I'm not going to say I promised my source I wouldn't say the member of the, uh, not only the member, the prison nickname or identity, uh, of the organization in that prison, but I also wouldn't name the organization. So let me just tell you, there, there's only about three in there, three big ones. And they're all just as, I mean, depending on where you go, it's a little more, you know, but uh, safe to say in general, all of them are pretty dangerous. All of them are an organization you don't want to owe $5,000 to. That's a lot of money in prison. A lot. And I honestly thought Alec would be smarter than doing this and jumping out on a limb and, and betting this, making this bet. But I guess he wasn't. But because a lot of you have been asking me for an update, that's pretty much it. These guys are really trying to get their hands on Alec Murdoch. I'm still waiting to hear more, what progress they make on that. But things have kind of gotten into overdrive. Whereas before it's like, Hey man, you're taking quite a while to pay me my money. And I'm not happy about that. I'm getting pretty mad. Might have to send some guys to, to, to compress you, apply some pressure, check you. Now it's like, yo, at any given moment, any given day, SCDC might make a move involving the feds to get you out of their prison. And I won't be able to do anything to you anymore. And I'll be out five thousand dollars so if something's gonna happen i'd say it's gonna happen pretty soon but when it does if you don't hear it in the news first you'll hear it from me there's your update thanks for watching see you next time